Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. <sighs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. So this morning, like, I'm actually, I'm getting ready to go to the store. But this morning, I've low-key been, like, overwhelmed. My mind has just kind of been racing, just thinking about things, things that are going on. I'm actually just signed an NIL deal this morning. So thank God for that. It's really awesome to see how this has grown, and I literally just show my life. You know what I'm saying? That's not all I do. But that is basically the sole idea behind what I do. It's a progression of my life. It's a progression of my life in many different areas, um, whether it be baseball, life, interactions, my walk with Christ, school, literally just a progression and a document of how my life is evolving, how I'm evolving as a person, and the various things around me. But with all of that comes a handful of stress. And this morning, I kind of was just like thinking about too much, just trying to like, I don't know, thinking about videos, thinking about training, thinking about lifting, thinking about what I'm going to eat, thinking about where I'm about to go, thinking about who I'm going to train with. But it can be overwhelming. This morning, I literally sat down at the end of the bed, I said, God, I said, you've given me all these things. I just asked you to give me strength and wisdom and peace in the midst of everything that goes on. We can get too caught up and try to get to moving too fast that we try to psych ourselves out. Sometimes you just gotta come back to earth and be like, all right, God, if this is what you want me to do, I will do it. If this is not important, I won't do it. You have to be able to pray and realize those times before you get too, too in a rush that you gotta try to figure everything out. I basically had one of those moments this morning and I was just like, let me breathe. You know what I'm saying? Let me be patient. Let me relax. Let me do what I need to do. Let me stop rushing. Let me stop running around. I'm at a lot more peace. That's why I started this video I was like go ahead and pick up the camera and get the yapping so that I can <laughs> consciously slow myself down kind of thinking about some things upcoming and for the rest of the week and just you know what I'm saying life you know what I'm saying for today I am actually getting ready to go to the bookstore I want to pick up a new Bible I want to get like a study Bible I have a Bible but it's not a study Bible it doesn't really allow me to kind of get deep into it um, and I usually use my phone a lot of times I'll be honest because I'm always on the go and like, if a verse pops up I just kind of want to look it up in the time being I'm getting ready right now after we go to the bookstore and get my Bible we're going to hit with Trey and then I'm also going to go to the field and do some defense today as well later this afternoon I'm probably just gonna chill. I really have been trying to get back to all my DMs and everything like that recently. I do get a lot. So if you guys know or don't know or care or don't care, and I try my best to reply to pretty much everything. But I just want to say thank you guys for the support. Thank you guys for getting me in this position. Thank you guys for even giving me something to stress about. I said this a few videos back, but sometimes we start to complain about things we ask for. That's why you have to be very specific about the things you pray for, the things that you wish upon people. What you speak is what will happen. The Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue. So if you're constantly spitting out bad and negativity, that's going to be your situation. So that's why I prayed this morning. I was just like, God, give me strength and give me peace. And anything that's kind of coming upon me right now because you have given it to me. You know what I'm saying? I just wanted to kind of express that because I feel like the camera allows me to slow myself down, allows me to kind of relax. And it also brings me back to earth whenever things kind of get all over the place. Because when I see this timer going and I realize how long I've been talking, it'll make you shut up and relax. <laughs> so anyways, I'm just packing the bag, get ready to go. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I'm currently waiting for my girlfriend to finish getting ready so I can show y'all her drip for today. Bro, that's it. Look at that dog. What the dog doing? All right, go ahead. Show me your drip. <laughs> that's drip. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, y'all. She's holding me up, so I'm going to go. Now, now we're doing here. I was literally putting my... <laughs> I was putting the tripod back together. <laughs> bro, what the heck is this? It literally, <laughs> look, bro, it literally just broke. <laughs> Shout out Joby, bro. I'm gonna give you a new tripod. Bro, that's insane. All right, bro. So right now, I guess we're going to Best Buy to get a tripod. It literally just broke, and I know there's not a warranty on it. So right now, I'm about to go get a tripod, I guess. Make sure you guys like the video so uh, we can get this. There's money for this tripod back. But I appreciate you guys. Basically, just gonna catch y'all at Best Buy. I'm gonna let y'all know how much it costs and everything. Because this stuff is not cheap. I know y'all be asking. All right, bro. We're at the legendary Best Buy where they tax you for everything in store. But we're about to go get a tripod because right now my tripod has two legs. How does this even happen? So I'm gonna see you guys. Let me go get this thing real quick. I'm gonna catch y'all when we come back. I'll let you guys know what I bought. And from there, we're gonna try to go get this Bible. Ah, uh, a whole lot of yapping. I'm gonna see y'all. So let me let me sit y'all down. Let me let me sit y'all down for a second. All right, so I just got it. There's the tripod. It's the Joby Gorilla Pod 3K1, whatever that means. Let me show y'all what this junk costs. What in the world? 
$74.88. Are you kidding me? <laughs> for, for a freaking tripod? And it broke this mo it broke this morning, bro. I literally, I literally looked at him, but I'm like looking at the tripod, I'm like, huh, $75. $75 on a freaking tripod. Cause the leg broke. I got two legs. I mean, unbelievable, bro. Here's the tripod. Here's the same thing that freaking broke. $74. So, uh, <laughs> y'all like the video, bro. Cause this is outrageous. Now we gotta go to the bookstore and see what we can cook up. And let's go try to find a Bible. All right, so I got the tripod on. They had a, uh, a lens cleaner. It was $7 for a piece of fabric. Not gonna happen. All right, so there's a store. It's called Books A Million. We're gonna go check that out, see if I can get a new Bible. I don't know, I feel like I probably should have ordered it, but I also wanna, I wanna get after it too. I'ma see y'all when we get to the store. I'm not gonna bring you guys in there. Hopefully I can just get in and get out. And hopefully it's not over $30. Let's go get this Bible. Let's get this word, bro. All right, now we're making a little bit of progress. So I did get an NIV Bible. I think in the past I've had a King James Version or a New King James Version. So this one I got, it's called Rooted, the NIV Bible for men. When I read through some of it, uh, just to kind of make sure I was able to understand I just want to be able to like actually understand it. and I think that's probably why I like using my phone so much because it's, it's not hard to understand You know what I'm saying? I just kind of put it in the easy to read version for me to understand what's going on But I actually am pretty excited to kind of like start diving into it even more than I was before and, and to like be able to like kind of share with you guys I think it's super cool So got a new Bible today, which I think is gonna be really really fun and awesome to kind of do right now I need to head to the facility because we still got to do some defense and everything So I know I'm all over the place today ain't gonna lie busy day a little hectic But hope you guys are having a great day as well and I'm gonna see you guys. Oh, let's go hit. You know what I'm saying? I'm basically all done hitting. I didn't stay here very long today. It's about 2.30. I'm about to go get something to eat and then we'll head to the field. Kind of just did a round of front toss and two rounds of machine work. It was mediocre. I ain't gonna lie. It was all right. I could have done it a little better, but there's a lot of people in here and I kind of just wanted to get in and get out. So that was my rounds from today. You guys have a blessed day. I guess the tripod's pretty cool. I ain't gonna lie. It's, it was worth it. Not really. Yeah, bro. Yes, sir. Oh, look, he's so ready to go. Sometimes I just don't want to stay here all day. Baseball is something you do, not who you are. Look at all the chargers, you ready? Look at this. Boom. 345. There's mine. There's another one. I look, you need to wash my car, bro. Look at my rims. <laughs> but yeah, I might go stop and clean it out, but let's go find something to eat, bro. Let's get, let's get some grub. So, I'm here. I did stop and get some McDonald's, bro. Got a large fry. Right now I'm just waiting for everybody to get out of school. I think they get out in like 20 minutes. I got a 10 piece nugget, large fry. I like Fanta, wait, you guys like Fanta? Y'all want some? Just kidding, go get your own. I might just play some worship music, bro. Just kind of relax. Let my body relax before we turn it up. Just wanted to give you guys an update. No way.
All right, Coach, thank you. You're See you guys. Right, to the, the crib University. Overall, pretty good day. I'll talk to you guys in the car about how everything went, but I'm all done for today. There's a look at my training, you know what I'm saying? So I'll see you. We're about to go to Lexi's school basketball game, but we're about to go watch my boy Cohen. All right, guys. We're going to the game. <laughs> What are you doing, bro? I'm about to get these like cinnamon, cinnamon waffle looking things. These right here, bro. Right, grocery. I said, you can't even see me. VP card three. Have a good night, man. All right, y'all. So it's uh, obviously later in the day. I think right now it's almost 11 o'clock. Um, but I wanted to go through this verse in the new Bible that we got. It's in the NIV version, and I actually really, really like it. I'm glad I did get it today. Um, so I want to read you this verse. It's uh, Romans 12, 2. And I'll start at verse 12, and it says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in views of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Verse two says, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. I feel like a lot of times, bro, we get so caught up in like the loop and like the people around us and like the decisions they're making. There's a TikTok and it's literally like the blind leading the blind. That's sometimes how like our friend groups are. Like it's not that we have actual genuine people that are actually guiding us in the direction that we should be going. Sometimes they make decisions that aren't great and we go with it because they're our buddies. Sometimes we don't want to call them out because they're our buddies or we've known them for so long. Someday we have to understand that at the end of the day, your decisions are your decisions. Your choices are your, your choices. Um, and God gave us free will, but we have to use that will to be pleasing to him. The verse says, do not conform to the patterns of this world. You don't have to be like everybody else. You don't have to do what everybody does. You don't have to be just like your friend. If you see wrong after wrong after wrong, discernment is knowing that right from wrong. It's knowing good from evil. But you have to be able to be in your word and you have to understand and acknowledge that those things are wrong. I just wanted to read you guys that verse. This is the end of the video. I hope you guys had a blessed day. Right now it's 11.56, so I'm basically done for the night. So hope you guys had a great day. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Y'all have a good night, man. Let's go.